Well, hello and welcome. Today we're going to tie a dubbing brush shrimp. Uh, this pattern I'm especially fond with. I'm uh, happy with the come up with this uh, pattern. I had uh, several thoughts about how to gonna put this fly together, but uh, this is the final product. I'm very happy with it. Well, uh, first of all, we're gonna talk a little about the materials used in this fly. Uh, I start with a hook. This is the hook I'm using. CS54BN saltwater shrimp from Partridge in size 4. And I want this uh, fly to ride the uh, hook up. So I use this uh, lead eyes. You can use what size you want. Uh, and uh, I use this barred rubber legs. And I use some uh, crystal flash for the antennas. And for the ball between the eyes, I use some tan colored dubbing that I made myself with uh, some fox fur uh, and some flash. And I have uh, a tan tie thread and some uh, very fine silver the stainless steel wire that's just tangled on me you see now I have to pull it out on the of the spool well I take out some piece now fix this later and of course uh, the eyes is my own making and uh, this kind of eyes you can use what kind of eyes you you would like to use but uh, I have this one and uh, what's in it? Yes, the shell back is nymph skin in this color. Uh, well, have I covered all? I think yes. This is the main part of this fly. This is the dubbing brush. I made this out of uh, craft fur in color uh, golden tan if you might call it and i uh, put some uh, flash in it to make it look like this oh i'm tearing down my fly well there it is again well the fly is gonna look like this and uh, well we just start tying it well put this aside and take out a hook from the bag Try to get only one. That's not not so easy uh, always. I put it in the vise. The vise is a regal uh, regal with a big uh, jaws and uh, attached to thread. And put on some lead eyes. I use that first. I think that's the most easy to do. And put it on top, attach it with some cross wrappings, make it stay on top of the hook because when you flip this hook around, it will uh, make it make the hook st stay that way. Well, now I take some uh, Gorilla Super Glue, I put it on the thread wrappings and make it seep in. Seep in. To make the make the eyes stay there, lead eyes. Now use some thread wrappings just to make it stay there, just around crisscross and around the base. Some crisscrossing again. And this will make the lead eyes stay where I put it. Okay, now I'm gonna wind down to there and I take a little ball of dubbing on my thread. And 
make a little dubbing ball like that some noodles if you might call it and make, make this little dubbing ball here like that okay now I think take my crystal flash take this one piece that I point at the hook eye like this and wrap it over so it, uh, it points forward in a wee fashion snip off both parts oh I got my super glue on my fingers well that happens and now it's time to put on the rubber legs take one piece two pieces and uh, I take it and double it over on the thread like that you see that's the one side I repeat for the other side well it's rubbery this thing um, and take it on the other side and use the thread to just make all rubber legs stay where it is where, where it should be <laughs> and snip off the rubber legs all at the same time so you get the same length on it you can adjust this rubber legs later if you want and make it make the rubber legs point downwards because you have to remember that this hook is gonna ride hook up well now it's time to put on the eyes and you have to remember the same thing make the eyes point downwards well towards the hook point this is a point uh, 50 millimeter 0 0.50 millimeter nylon that I made this eyes of with some glue and a lot of stuff well I attached the one side and snip off this should not be so long so I can't pull on it well I have to unwrap a little bit I see now it was getting a little bit too long so I adjust the length like that that's more like it you have to eyeball this really well it's full of super glue just cut it off like that and use the other eyes the, the one eye that you just attach to measure out the second eye to make it be just about the same length you can adjust it like that well it looks okay and just secure the eyes now it's both both is uh, very secure now and now the fun parts begin well I take this dubbing brush and I want to make this dubbing brush go around the eyes uh, just have to get all these other things out of the way and I have to attach my wire first I had uh, just almost forgot it like this and snip it into my material clamp or what you might call it material well is it a, well <laughs> it's all it's not always I get on all the English word for it for things just have to snip off the end of this wire and attach it like this and now I'm gonna take just to try to get all this stuff out of the way so I won't won't be in the 
Where am I? Dubbing brush, I just have to do use this clamp, what you might call it, hackle clamp. Well, it's not big enough, so I take a, um, take a little material clip. Just to, well, it's a bit fiddly this. Like it, I like this. I caught my also. Well, now you see, I take this. I just have to adjust my vise so you can see. I take the pull the eyes up. I take this dubbing brush around the eyes and use my tying thread. Did I lose it? No. Just repeat it again so you can see. Take the dubbing brush under under the eyes like that and try to just attach it like this with my you have to adjust the eyes maybe you can like this so and move the tying thread backwards to the dumbbell eyes and use use your fingers to just take the fibers backwards to towards the hook hook points like this you see now I'm building up the fly all the way to the lead eyes try not to Make a fool out of myself and just like that uh, and snip off like this. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> well, now you can see now it's uh, getting there just have to um, now I can release this and turn this wise around uh, or I can take the hook around like that like that yeah where well, well, and you see now I got my wire up here. I pull it downwards and I got my crystal flash antennas. And I take another material clip or hackle clip. Hackle. Oh, I lost the name of it. Well, now I take my shell back and just snip off the ends and put it on top of the hook and attach it with some wrappings and I take my trusty toothbrush that's my old toothbrush I'll cut up cut the fibers in half just to make it more stiff um, and now I take this this um, wire and just wind in, wind it uh, between the fibers. Try not to trap too many, many, and just have to adjust this top here. Um, around around of course you can also use some gold wire here this is stainless steel wire the same wire wire i made made the dubbing brush this is the 
same method you use for tying the winding be uh, between the feathers when you tie the famous uh, the, uh, Danish saltwater shrimp pedigrees. It's the method I use. You see now. I could have uh, cut off this materials on top there but I, I I I left it because when there is a little bit too much on top there 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 you will get the segmentations more clearly you see now oh my dubbing brush my brush is getting down in the trash well you see now and now I lift up this and take this wire on to the hook eye just to get it attached like this and snip off and now I take a little more dubbing this homemade you can make it yourself it's easy and a little noodle on my just to um, hide the beer hook between the eyes yes and you can if you want just take it around the eyes in a little crisscross fashion like that and now you take the shell back over this again and attach it just have to adjust this rubbery thing and make some wrappings and it all comes together now and just use your whip finisher oh I forgot my coffee yeah it's fun this and some whip finish and the fly is almost ready and I use my scissors to make a little point on this end here make it look a little better and the same on the front of the shell back make it a little point Try not to cut off too many fibers. It went okay. And now I take my Stonefo Petin comb. This is just a Velcro brush. Just brush it out on the both sides and brush it forwards like this. And you see now it's looking amazing. This is looking pretty damn amazing. Well, I'm very happy with this pattern. Well, 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 very, very, very happy. It looks like a million dollars, I think. Well, just have to take the eyes and point it a bit outwards. So it looks a little more and adjust the antennas. You see now, I put it on the top here. You can see it. Well, what about that, folks? Try to put it. Here is what the trout sees. <laughs> and you see now this um, dumbbell eyes make this fly jig in the water and have all voice the hook up. It's a very durable fly, very nice fly to use. And I have a lot of good thoughts about this fly. Well, now I'm gonna talk a little about uh, the materials. Uh, I, I've talked about the materials, but the, I, I talk about the dubbing brush. Here you can see the wire I used in this fly. I uh, used it as a rib and also in the dubbing brush. You see how flexible the cord is. 
how thin the cord is. This is the main reason I can use this on this little fly. Because it's not so very stiff, it's easy to work with, it's strong. 0 0.10 millimeters. This is the spool. You cannot see the because I <laughs> tore off. But uh, you see, it's very almost like a tying thread. Very, 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 very thin. Well, that's all I had for you, folks. Uh, I uh, I will uh, try to post several videos. Oh, I want to go out and fish like this. You see the two fellows standing on my vice. Very nice fly. I have big thoughts about this fly. So, um, well, uh, subscribe to my channel if you want, and then we see some exciting videos. I've uh, made a series of dubbing brush and uh, dubbing brush uh, flies, and a bit about uh, tips and tricks, everything. That's all I had, and thank you all for watching my video, and welcome back to my next. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.